Alrighty then. Okay. The light. I need the light. Hello, my name is Ben Pontiff, student number 29, and this is collection number 19. This is an oral history or personal memory of Maud Delon. She's my grandmother, and as far as I'm concerned, she's one of the greatest human beings to ever have lived. Um, the Funk and Wagnalls Encyclopedia defines folklore as the following. A term designating. God, I fucked that up. Here we go again, kids. Okay. Lead back in. Okay. Hello, my name is Ben Pontiff, student number 29 and collection number 19. The Funk and Wagnalls Encyclopedia defines folklore as the following. A term designating the traditional beliefs, superstitions, customs, sayings, myths, tales, songs, and other manifestations of the spirit and life of a people. The term is also applied to the study of these elements of popular culture. Originally known as the study of popular antiquities, the term folklore for the study for such study was first used by the English antiquary William John Toms in 1946. Money maker. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Where's my bookmark? Bookmark. Yeah, there we go. Hi, I'm Ben Pontiff, student number 29, and this is collection number 19. The Funk and Wagnalls Encyclopedia defines folklore as the following. A term designating the traditional beliefs, superstitions, customs, sayings, myths, tales, songs, and other manifestations of the spirit and life of a people. The term is also applied to the study of these elements of popular culture. Originally known as the study of popular antiquities, the term folklore for such study was first used by the English antiquary William John Toms in 1846. This is an oral history or personal memory of my grandmother, Maud Delon. It's bits and pieces of a life in the heart of Cajun country, central Lafourche, Lockport to be exact. And she's just one of the greatest human beings you could ever want to meet, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay. Where were you born? Uh, in my grandmother's house, 1913. In Lockport? Lockport, right. What's, what's oh, would it be Lockport? Or was it Longville at that time? No, but five miles from Lockport. Okay, down the bayou or up the bayou? Yeah. Uh, on 308. <laughs> on 308. On 308. Okay. I don't like what you're doing. 
You better call Harvey. Okay. But I don't need that on my tape. Okay, okay. Where did you grow up? In Lockport. I guess you could call it Lockport. It's five miles. It, it, our address was Lockport, so it must be Lockport. How, how many brothers and sisters did you have? I had uh, five brothers and five sisters. So a load, huh? And where were your parents from? Lockport. Originally from Lockport, too. All C Cajun, oh, French yeah. speaking? All Cajun. All French speaking Cajuns. Um, what, were, what were their occupations? What did they do for a living? Well, my mother was a housekeeper. She had a lot of children, and my father was a storekeeper, general merchandise. And, um, it was just a regular grocery store? Grocery, material, shoes, general merchandise. That's what they called it. Um, what do you remember most about your younger years when you were? Well, I remember 13 years old when my mother died. That was devastating. And then the year after my sister got married and I was kind of in charge of the house, you see. How'd your mama die? Of childbirth. And how old was she? 43. Um, well, um, who raised, who was raising you? Was your father? Our father. Our father was raising us until he remarried. Mm -hmm. what, what was your father's name? Emil Edouard Leblanc. And your mom's name? Leah. Leah. Leblancs. They're both Leblancs. Leblanc. Okay. Um, what did you do back then to have fun? Well, I played. <laughs> I played with dolls. Made clothes for dolls until I was 15 years old. It was store bought dolls or dolls you made? Yeah. Well, I had a store bought dolls, but we used to make. We had. In those days, it had uh, dolls with the um, with heads and 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 soft bodies, you know. And we used to dress them. It not it wasn't like the dolls that you buy today, you see. But we used to make clothes for them and dress them the way we wanted them. So you sold. Couldn't buy ready-made stuff like. You do today. You sewed a lot? Yeah, I used to sew the old clothes. Um, I started sewing when I was eight years old. Your mom taught you? Well, I guess I uh, inherited that from her about sewing, but I, I think I, I taught myself. And I, I belonged to the Voyage Club and I learned a little bit about that, you see. In those days, they had Voyage Club. Yeah, it's been around for quite a while. Um, Okay. Well, what kind of food did y'all eat back then? Well, we ate a lot of fresh vegetables. My, my father used to grow them in, in, in our backyard. <coughs> uh, potatoes and eggs and chicken and all kinds of vegetables. We always had fresh thing. And he grew a hog. We had fresh pork. What, what kind of dishes like you would call Cajun dishes what every kind or yeah I, I would believe so we ate for breakfast we ate a lot of grits and eggs and we had fresh milk because we had cows you see mm -hmm. you know fresh milk fresh eggs because we had chickens and y'all y'all had y'all had a farm uh, a farm we had a big backyard where all that took place. Mm -hmm. my, my father owned property, but he rented, he let uh, his brother and other people work it, you see, and he'd get a share from that. Um, 
Did you cook a lot or? Not too much. I didn't. I did more sewing and ironing and cleaning house. Um, what? What? I mean, you know, you know how to cook, right? No. <laughs> you don't know how to cook. I didn't cook until I got married. So yeah, er everything you learned how to cook was like self-taught. Yeah, I would think much. so. And well, how, where? Where did you go to school? What's that? Where did you go to school? Seven district school. And it 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 was not not even a quarter of a mile from my house. So I used to walk to school. Walk. Uh, okay. Did you? What are the bad times you remember from? The old days. The bad times I remember was uh, we had a depression, mm -hmm. and we were we had to be very careful, you know. But we had to have coupons to buy food and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that that was the depression came while I was married, but I don't know what we had before. We we had. We had uh, sicknesses, you see, mm -hmm. and in those days you didn't have the remedies like you have today. But my father was like a, a doctor. He had he he medicated us, you see, gave us because we were orphans for a couple of years before he remarried. So when we had colds, we took castor oil and ate chicken soup and stayed in bed. You didn't get no shots from doctors or anything like that. That's good to have. And we took care of each other like that. We had all the sicknesses, chicken pox and measles and whooping cough, all that. So who, who took care of y'all a while before your father got remarried? Well, I helped. I had my sister-in-law that stayed with us a while, but uh, that didn't work too well. And then I, I guess I kind of took over and then it was about two or three years after my mother died that he remarried. You so you, you were the oldest, right? No, my oldest sister married the year after my mother died. Okay. So I, I was left. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you thought you did a good job though, huh? I did what the best I could. I don't know what kind of job I did, but I did the best I could. Okay. What kind of... um diseases stick out as the worst ones? They had like plagues or anything? Like uh, chicken pox. They were bad back then? Yeah, yeah. If you weren't careful, you, you stayed scarred, you know. But uh, after a couple of years, we had an old doctor to come to the school and all the kids would get injected and the parents would go to they all get the uh, shots, and that wasn't too bad, you know. Mm -hmm. But before that, we had went through whooping cough. That was bad. You caught, you coughed and coughed. You thought you'd never stop coughing. And then measles. You had to be very careful with measles. You had to, because it could hurt your eyes. It could affect your eyes. Well, we had all the sicknesses. And when you have a large family, you catch from one to the other. So. These days you have all kind of vaccines and stuff like that. That's right. And people live longer. What, what did, when people were dying back then, what were they dying of mostly? Old age. Old age? <laughs> well, the majority of them, of course my mother died at the age of 43, but my grandparents died close to 90. And they didn't have no cholesterol pills or anything like that in those days. I guess that was the good food. Good Cajun food. Cajun food, yeah, I guess so. So when we And uh, peace. We had more peace. Today we didn't get scared about everything like you know, to do today, you know. Less stress in your life. That's good. Um, when were, when were you married? 
1940. And April 24th, that's going to be.